Say hello to Coyote Peterson. Good morning, Coyote Peterson. Good morning, guys. Thanks How for are you on the show? Yeah, thanks for being on the show. And again, uh, you are an amazing individual, uh, YouTube star. I got a brand new show on Animal Planet that's coming down the pike. And what you basically do is you are an animal expert and adventurer, sticking your hands in holes where you don't know what's in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> well, that usually always lends to something rather interesting, and people want to see what's going to happen. So yeah, that's how we kind of get it to work out. <laughs> I want I want to see how it's going to happen. So, uh, you know, how did you get started, I guess, is the, the first question we got to ask you. How did you – I mean, you love animals. How did that become your lifelong pursuit? Yeah, no, I've been into animals since I was a little kid, and when I went to – well, I went to the Ohio State University and, and studied screenwriting, producing, and directing. So really my career began behind the camera. And then as we started developing a concept for an animal series, it made sense for me to jump in front of the camera because I had this background in being able to interact and, and get close to animals. And it was sort of a combination of the two that we began to develop. And, and long story short, we ended up launching this YouTube channel that you know we've been fortunate enough to experience success with over the course of the past five years. That eventually garnered the attraction of, uh, you know, several different networks and streaming services. And then when I had the chance to team up with Animal Planet, which, of course, I grew up watching, you know, Steve Irwin and Jeff Corwin were uh, huge inspiration. Yeah. It only made sense that, yep, if we're going to make a, a big time animal show, let's do it for Animal Planet. Well, some of your YouTube channels include Breaking Trail, Beyond the Tide, Dragon Tales, Base Camp, Blue Wilderness, and uh, you have over uh, 2.9 billion views. Wow. Yeah, That's very impressive, Coyote. Yeah. <laughs> now, how did Thank your you. how did yeah. your love of animals evolve into you getting bit and stung by different, you know, animals? It's and what bugs? you do? It's what you do. <laughs> Yeah, that? you know, that's that's one of those weird twists of the story because, you know, as a wildlife presenter, you need to be good at not being bitten and stung by things, yeah. which I'm, I've actually perfected over the years. And it, as it just turned out, like the audience really enjoyed seeing me go through these human guinea pig experiments. And, you know, once we realized that this was a great way to get people attracted to learning about some of the creepy crawly creatures that they otherwise would be afraid of, we sort of just ran with that concept for a while. Um, but honestly, the bite and sting content is only about 2% of what we produce. And, and sort of the big lure was that people would watch that content and then they would come to the Brave Wilderness channel and say, oh, wait, and this guy's also swimming with manatees or talking about wolf conservation or, you know, educating us about baby sloths. So there was like this perfect mix that I think people then gravitated towards, especially for a family viewing audience. We try to keep all of our content perfect for kids and adults of all ages. All right. So tell us, what was the most painful bite or sting that you've had? <laughs> uh, so bites and stings are both very different from each other. And okay. the most painful sting I've ever taken was uh, from something called an executioner wasp. Oh. And the most painful bite was actually an unintentional bite that came from the only venomous lizard in the United States, which is called a Gila monster. Oh. So oh, yeah. I've both got... scenarios were not good days for coyotes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, we, we love what you do, and we're very excited about the debut of Brave the Wild. It premieres this Sunday on Animal Planet. Tell us how that show came about, and aren't you traveling to, like, exotic locations and stuff like that? Yeah, so season one of Brave the Wild we filmed in Australia, South America, and the United States. And the uh, first season features over 79 different species of animals. And this is really about telling a larger narrative and the true story about creatures you knew very little about. Maybe it was something you were afraid of. Maybe it's something that's surrounded in folklore and mystery. Um, and we really dug into the backgrounds of these stories and showed you how they exist within their environments, why they're considered top apex predators, or in some instances, why certain species need uh, the support of conservation efforts. So the whole season itself combines all these different elements of action, adventure, danger, conservation, education. Um, it's, it's about as robust a first season for a TV show as I think we could have made. And Coyote, do you have any commentary? What's it going to take, you know, with Australia's historic um, fires they had? It affected a lot of the wildlife there. It, it did, you know, and we were there in Australia filming just before the fire started. So when we worked within Australia, we were there for about 50 days and the drought conditions were the worst they've been in over a decade. And it was really difficult to work within because uh, the animals weren't really moving around. You have to remember if, if it's a prey species and it's not able to find 
its source of, source of nourishment, you know, whether that's water or plants, you know, they're staying hunkered down, which prevents the predators from moving about because the predators are eating the prey items. So it posed quite the challenge for us to be able to get the content that we, we did manage to capture. But then once those fires started, I mean, the, the catastrophic nature of everything that's happened there, um, it needs to continue being a point of conversation even today. And while there has been rains that have moved through, things are getting better. There are still fires burning in some places. So what really needs support are all of the people that are on the ground there working to help these animals that have been injured or the people that are helping get these animals reintroduced back into their now, you know, sort of fire-torn environments. But, you know, with this process, it is a natural thing. It's just never been this bad before. So hopefully the environments and the species will, will recuperate, but it's, it's going to take some serious time. Well, we're crossing our fingers, and uh, again, it has to be top of mind. Uh, Your show is top of mind for us this morning. Love the fact that it's going to be debuting on the animal planet, Brave the Wild. Um, Before we let you go, I have to ask, what you you deal with animals all the time. Do you have a favorite, favorite animal? Yeah, so my favorite animal of all time is something called a snapping turtle, which is a a predatory reptile that lives all across the eastern part of the United States. Um, and what's funny is that, uh, well, I shouldn't say funny, but it's just, it's fitting, I guess, that uh, the premiere episode, which comes out this Sunday, is all about my relationship with snapping turtles, how they've helped shape my career. I've never been able to go after this legendary turtle down in Texas that nobody's before um it was believed that this could be a world record sized turtle um and and i promise this first episode when people see the size of this prehistoric giant that we managed to catch it's unlike any turtle that's ever been featured on a show before and uh, i think people are going to say okay this is definitely setting the bar for what this series is poised to become well i'm, I'm super excited about it i know i know where to send the plush toy to you now i know what i know what to get you coyote yeah. <laughs> <laughs> snapping turtle plush toy it is awesome don't miss it brave the wild premieres sunday at 9 p.m on animal planet there you go mr coyote peterson thank you so much have a great morning mr coyote hey thank you guys appreciate it you betcha and uh, there you go coyote peterson on the animal planet what a show that's going to be uh, families are going to gather around it's gonna be a good one stays perfect yeah tune in with the kiddos i like it animal planet nine o'clock sunday coyote peterson 